What is up everybody, my name is Heiken and today we are taking a look at the Techware Phantom 87 RGB 10 keyless mechanical keyboard. Let's get into it. So first off, I do just want to advertise my Twitch stream. I stream most weekends and we do have a great time so please do consider dropping by and checking it out. Also, please do remember to like and subscribe, it really does help me out. All right. Let's get into the video. So real quick, some general stuff. This is an 87 key, 10 keyless keyboard, as I already said. But what that means is that you have a full size keyboard without the number pad. A lot of times people find that it's an unnecessary feature and just get rid of it. So these keyboards feature Otemu switches. Mine has Otemu blue switches because I really like that blue clicky feeling. They also come with red or brown switches. Red switches are very linear, they're very easy to press down, and there's not really any tactile feedback, whereas browns are a little bit in the middle between the red and the blue switches. You can order this right now off of Amazon for 45 bucks. That means that this is a budget keyboard, folks. This keyboard comes with a keycap puller, which has a special hiding spot on the back that I'll show you in a second. It also comes with a key switch puller, extra switches in case any of yours break, and an instruction manual. So let's dive into some of the pros. It is a really sturdy keyboard. It's got a steel back plate, so if you try to bend it, it's not going to bend at all. That thing is really sturdy. The build quality overall is just really great on the keyboard itself. Also, 45 bucks? Are you kidding me? This thing is a steal for 45 bucks. There is a wide variety of RGB lighting features. There's also software which lets you program your own lighting, which I think is super cool. So definitely no shortage of cool lighting effects on this keyboard. The lighting itself also looks really good. My camera might not be doing it justice. You might have to see that for yourself, but it's really good lighting for a $45 keyboard. Heck, for even a $100 keyboard, I'd take this lighting. The keycaps are double shot PBT, which is the good stuff. That's what you want. That means that they're essentially two separate pieces. There's clear plastic and there is a harder plastic on the exterior as well. The clear plastic lets you see the lighting through the keycap. What this means is that you don't really have to worry about your lettering ever fading, at least on these keycaps. The keycap puller is actually pretty cool, the way that they have stored it, at least once you figure out how to get it working. The switches, these Otemo blue switches, are actually pretty decent. They're not great, but they're pretty decent. They're good enough for a $45 keyboard, I'd say. You'll hear a sound test in a little bit. These switches are also hot swappable. What that means is that you can use the key switch puller to pull them out and replace them with a new switch or a different switch. So say maybe you want your WASD buttons to be brown switches or red switches, or if you don't have blue switches, maybe you want those to be blue switches. You can do that. You have that ability to customize your experience as much as you want. I think that's a really cool feature. Definitely one that you wouldn't expect in a $45 keyboard. However, this feature is limited to other Utemo switches only, so you can't take genuine cherry switches and throw those in here, unfortunately. I also think that it is a super cool feature to include hotkeys to other things. There's hotkeys for my computer, your internet browser, a calculator, and your music app. It's a super cool feature. All you have to do is just hold the function key plus F1, F2, F3, or F4, depending on what you want to access. There was also a Windows lock feature, which is super cool. You activate it by just pressing the function key and the Windows key at the same time. This will prevent your Windows key from bringing up Windows when you're in a game, which can be very annoying and potentially very costly. So this is an awesome feature to have on a gaming keyboard. All right, let's get into the cons. So I will say now that they are kind of more based around my personal preference but I still think that they're valid points. So the keys have this matte finish that I'm overall just not a huge fan of. It kind of feels weird. I'm sure I'll get used to it over time if I continue to use these key switches, but I just don't really like them that much, just the way that they feel. I did manage to scuff up my up arrow key a little bit when I was key trying to keycap pull. The puller slid and ended up scraping the key a little bit. It doesn't look that bad, but it does kind of speak volumes about the quality of the black plastic on these keycaps and this matte finish that's on there. 
I don't know if maybe I was just being a little too tough on this or if it is a cheap plastic, I'm kind of leaning more towards the cheap plastic. I'll get into why in a second here. So the font on these keycaps is kind of weird. And on the numbers especially, it's really small. I don't have great eyes. I'm being totally transparent about that. My eyesight is not great, but just looking at the numbers and especially the symbols next to the numbers, the percent sign, you can barely see the line. It's kind of just hard to see. I wish that they had maybe made the numbers a little bigger and I, I don't know, I don't know. But I do know that I'm really just not a big fan of the number keys, especially. The stabilizers on the bigger keys like backspace, shift, enter, space, they're really not great. I mean, they're fine. It really doesn't bother me that much, but I know that good stabilizers are kind of a must for some people and these ones do kind of bother me. So I don't know. It might be a big deal for you. I figured I'd just let you know. There should be some footage on the screen right now showing you. The left control key was also kind of giving me some issues. I was playing some Apex Legends on this keyboard to give it a test run and the control key was kind of sticking. It would require a lot of force to kind of push it through and I took the keycap off because I just wanted to see and if you can see right there there's like a plastic little lip right there that little piece of plastic and that just kind of speaks volumes about the quality of these keycaps I really don't think that these are very good at all now this is a $45 keyboard so you know, the cost cutting stuff had to come from somewhere and it looks like it came from the keycaps. However, I did just pull that plastic off and it does look relatively fine now. There's still a little bit of residue there as you can see, but, and also taking the opportunity to show off that double shot PBT right there. As you can see, you have that clear plastic on the inside. You can see the control lettering there. Then I flip it around here. And you've got the black plastic with that see-through right there, which lets you see those lights really well. Now, this would not be a keyboard review without a sound test, so let's roll that. And now I'm just gonna take you through all the lighting effects. There are quite a few, so sit tight and just watch this for a second. So in conclusion, is this keyboard deserving of your hard earned money? Yeah, I think it is. If you're looking to get a 10 keyless 87 key keyboard, then yeah, definitely check this one out. Maybe buy some better keycaps for it. I know that I'm looking around for better keycaps already, 
but really that's my biggest complaint about this keyboard everything else about it is fine it's honestly really great for the money and i do have to say that the typing experience on this keyboard is really great i typed out pretty much a full script for this video on this keyboard and it was awesome I've been using a Logitech 513 for the past couple of months, and I have to say I like typing on this one much more than I like typing on the other one, and the other keyboard is about three times the price as this one. So yeah, this is a really solid keyboard. Just buy it. That's going to do it for me today, folks. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. That really does help me out, and check out my Twitch stream if you like what you saw. I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.